Hello students, today's video is a very important video. In this video, I will give a quick overview or outline of the process of new drug discovery and development. Now this video is first in the series of videos on new drug discovery and development. Now as we all know, drugs are substances that save lives and also improve quality of life. Introducing a new drug in market is a highly complex process. It costs a pharmaceutical company around 1.5 billion US dollars and 10 to 15 years of research and development by hundreds of research teams. Now during discovery of a new drug, thousands of potentially active compounds, around 5,000 to 10,000 compounds are screened, unsuitable compounds are rejected at each step. Now the entire process of new drug discovery and development has two main stages or phases. The first stage is the new drug discovery and the second stage is the new drug development. Now as we know 5000 to 10,000 active compounds are screened to get a new drug. New drug discovery is the process which aims at identifying potential candidates from 5,000 to 10,000 compounds that are screened. Now these potential compounds that are identified during drug discovery are called as leads. So leads or potential drug candidates are identified during drug discovery and the entire process of new drug discovery takes around 3 to 5 years. Now next stage is the drug development. Now drug development is the process of further screening and evaluating lead compounds which are generated during the process of drug discovery. Now lead compounds are further evaluated and screened in animals and human beings so that a new safe and very effective drug could be identified. Its suitable formulation and dosage forms are developed indications are decided and if the new drug is approved by FDA, it is manufactured on the large scale and launched in the market for the treatment of a specific disease or condition. Now the main steps during new drug discovery are, the first step is the target identification and validation. Now target involved in a specific disease is identified whose functioning could be modified by a new drug to produce the therapeutic effect. Now once this target is identified, it's validated. That is reconfirmation that the ta target identified is correct. Now next step is the screening of around 5 to 10,000 potentially active compounds by high throughput screening that is HTS method, HTS screening methods. Now from 5000 to 10,000 compounds around 100 to 200 compounds specific for the target are selected and these are called as HIT. These compounds are called as HIT. So the next step in the new drug discovery is the identification of HIT and these HITs are derived by the screening of 5000 to 10,000 active compounds. Now from these 100 to 200 hits, dozens of lead compounds with affinity and higher selectivity for the target are identified. Now leads interact only with the specific target excluding all the other related targets. So the next step is the lead generation and optimization. Now after the leads are generated, they are optimized. Now in the lead optimization, lead compounds are used as templates and from the lead compounds, more potential candidates are designed by chemical modification. Now these compounds which are produced by chemical modification, they possess higher affinity, higher selectivity for the target, they show good ADME profile that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion profile and good structure activity relationship. So around 250 compounds are designed from the lead compounds and these 250 compounds that are designed, they enter the process of drug development. 
Now, the process of new drug discovery ends when the leads are generated and optimized. It is completed in around 3 to 5 years and the next step is the new drug development. Now, around 250 compounds that were generated by the chemical modification of leads are further screened and are further evaluated in animals and then in the human beings. Now, let's see what are the different steps of drug development. Now, the first step here is the preclinical studies. Now, preclinical studies refer to the testing of all these 250 compounds in animals. Now, by the end of preclinical studies, only 5 compounds, only around 5 compounds are left to be further screened. All other compounds are rejected. And the process of preclinical studies takes around 1 to 2 years. Now, findings of preclinical studies are compiled in a investigational new drug application that is IND application. Now this application is submitted to FDA that is a Food and Drug Administration for review. Now if application is approved by FDA, all the five potential drug candidates which were identified during the preclinical studies are further screened and evaluated in human beings. Now, these studies in the human beings are called as the clinical trials. Now, clinical trials are performed in three phases, phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 studies. All three phases of clinical trials are completed in around 6 to 7 years. Now, data obtained from the clinical trials is compiled in new drug application and again submitted for, uh, to FDA for review. Now, FDA review takes around 1 to 2 years. Now, if FDA is satisfied with the safety, efficacy, ADME profile of the drug, official permission is granted by the FDA to launch the drug in the market. So, drug is formulated, indications are decided, it is manufactured on the large scale and made available in the market for the patients. Now, the entire process of uh, drug discovery to the launching of drug in the market takes around 10 to 15 years. Now, following FDA approval, FDA, once the drug is available in the market, FDA requires pharmaceutical drug companies to monitor the safety of drug. And the safety of drug is monitored using the FDA adverse event reporting system. So, this process is called as a post-marketing surveillance. That is, a very close monitoring of drug is, dr is done to ensure that the drug is safe. Now, these studies are also called as a phase 4 studies which are conducted when the drug is in market and available to the prescribers and to the patients. Now, look at this figure. It gives a compiled schematic representation of new drug discovery and the development process. Now, let's once again quickly review the entire process. So, uh, the drug discovery stage, uh, the drug discovery involves uh, identification of target to be modified by the drug to produce the therapeutic effect. Then screening of around 5,000 to 10,000 compounds, active compounds and identifying around uh, 100 to 200 hits. Further screening of hits to generate the leads. And once the leads are generated, these leads are used as templates and around 250 molecules are designed by chemical modification of the leads. And the entire process of drug discovery takes around 3 to 5 years. Now, during uh, drug development, further screening of uh, 250 compounds derived uh, from the leads are screened and evaluated first in the animals. And the studies are called as a preclinical studies. So, during preclinical studies, pharma uh, these are the pharmacological studies that are performed on the animals to determine safety and efficacy of all 250 compounds. Then pharmacokinetic studies evaluate 
uh, administration, distribution, metabolism and excretion that is ADME profile of all 250 compounds in the animals. While toxicity studies performed during the preclinical studies determine safe dose of the drug and the dose range. So, by the end of preclinical studies, almost all the drug candidates are rejected and around 5 compounds are left to be further screened. So, 5 compounds are left at the end of preclinical studies. Now, the entire process of preclinical studies takes around 1 to 2 years. Now, data that is obtained from these preclinical studies is compiled in investigational new drug application that is IND application and this application is submitted to FDA for review and approval. Now further if the FDA finds investigational new drug application satisfactory approval is granted to conduct studies in the human beings and thus clinical trials are conducted. Now clinical trials are conducted in three phases namely phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 and by the end of uh, clinical trials all the compounds are rejected and only one drug candidate called as a new drug is identified, it is developed, indications are decided. Now data of these clinical trials is compiled and new drug application that is NDA is submitted to FDA for again review. Now all the three phases of clinical trials are completed in around six to seven years. Now if FDA approves the new drug, it's given marketing approval, grant of approval by the FDA is completed in about one to two years. So now new drug is made available in the market for the patients. Now to further ascertain and confirm the safety of new drug Investigational studies are continuously performed when the drug is in the market. Now the main aim of these studies is to report if any adverse drug reaction has been observed with the use of new drug. Now these studies are called as a post-marketing surveillance or phase 4 studies or the phase 4, 4 trial. Now when in market the drug is prescribed to a large number of patient population, drug is studied in large population and for a very long period of time and therefore it has been found that several times some major adverse drug reactions are detected only when the product has been prescribed to a large patient population. Now many a times a drug is withdrawn from the market because of serious adverse drug reactions. For example, Cybutramine an appetite suppressant. Now, cybutramine was withdrawn from the market as it increased the risk of heart disease and stroke. So, monitoring of drugs safety is very essential when the drug is in the market. So, phase 4 trials are very important for the reporting of uh, adverse drug reactions, especially uh, unpredictable adverse drug reactions, for example, idiosyncratic reactions. So, this is in brief a quick overview of the entire process of new drug discovery and development. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.